You've been stabbed, right? No. How many times? I've been stabbed twice. Twice. Tell me how many two times. Uh, so on the two, how many times in each occasion? Both occasions was actually once. Oh, so on both two, occasions was actually one. once. Okay. So the first occasion was at a train station. Okay. And there was a boy I remember from my area. Um, we actually ended up having a lots of fights before I went to jail. But he became a Muslim while I was in prison. So when I came out of jail, I'm going to a dentist appointment. I'm not going to lie to you, Dilly, yeah? We didn't look after our teeth in jail, innit? No I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you, yeah? Especially when... Um, People struggle with teeth now, bro. I'm telling you, so it's like, especially when the gov doesn't like you yeah. and you go to the block for fighting, you get no toiletries, you get... No, but they tell you, yo, use your fingers to brush your teeth. So wow. I had a whole day, a whole day. Okay. A root canal maybe needed to be done. Okay. So I was on my way to a dentist appointment. I see one guy and I recognise him. And I'm like, oh, my, like... I was a bit on the edge because it's him and two other youths mm. and I'm by myself. I've made the oath to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm not going to go back to my old sick and twisted ways. I just want to make my parents proud, especially seeing my mother come to visit me in Jawahi. It was a big, like a, I couldn't let her go through that procedure of being searched, getting taken into a separate room and looking underneath her headscarf. I said, nah, that can't happen. Mm. So when I saw this guy at a train station, I said, you know what, I'm just going to leave it. But he clocked me. He realized this me, came over. Assalamu alaikum. I said, Ra, wa alaikum assalam. He said, you Muslim now, yeah? He goes, yeah, man, took my shahada. We're talking. We're getting to know each other. I'm, I'm sorry, we're uh, forgiving each other and so on and so forth. The moment he left the train station, I seen him through like a little gap through the fence. He actually took out a knife and gave it to one of his guys. The guy pulls up in the train station. I didn't know these times. My train's just pulling up. I was helping a lady uh, with a buggy to go on the train. But as I was helping her, because the platform southeastern trains, they're a bit high, I slipped and buckled into the train. As I've buckled, he's going to swing in my back. But alhamdulillah, me buckling completely made him miss me. And in that process, I've turned around, the lady shouting, I'm trying to fire him, I'm trying to close, I'm just trying to get to my dentist appointment, for goodness sake, man. I'm in pain already. <laughs> so this guy's trying to inflict pain, but I'm going back and forth, I'm trying to close the door. He's opening it and making sure that it doesn't close. Next thing you know, I kicked him with my left leg in his chest. As he's falling back, he stabs me right here in my thigh, like just around the kneecap. And it was my kneecap that stopped it. He ran away screaming like, yes, out of excitement. And, you know, the train ended up not moving and ambulance turned up. And it, it was just a headache. I was more angry at the fact that I didn't go to my dentist appointment than going to the hospital and getting some stitches. So... So the second incident? That was the first one. So, so the second one? 